G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in the last couple of videos, you would have seen me review some budget and ultra cheap TCMT indexable carbide inserts. And the last ones were the Banggood ones, which for $1.50 were amazingly, amazingly good. And I did the uh, some looked at Corloys prior to that, and they performed very well. Uh, anyway, I've also got a box of $1.50 eBay ones that I got from another site before Banggood actually offered me the chance to review some of their inserts. And I've also got another box of unknown brand that I've had in the drawer for years that I can't even remember where I bought them, but they're unused. So let's have a look at the four of those inserts and compare them and see just what the difference is between basic general purpose TCMT inserts. I did say in the video, the last video, that there is a difference. You know, they may all look the same, but they're substantial differences. They are not at all the same. So let's uh, put them under the microscope and see what comes up. Okay, well, let's start off with the Banggood insert. This is a new one at the box, never been used. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's very well made, very uniform, and the detail is excellent. You can see the chip breaker and the rounded the nose radius. All right, let's get a, a core loy. We'll check the core out in comparison. Now remember, the, the Banggood insert was the only one that didn't stream on, meat, on fine feed on the Magic Mystery Metal. So it's got to do with the chip breaker and possibly the nose radius. So here comes the core law. Now the core, the core law is quite well made. So it's got a heavier uh, chip breaker on it, a much thicker chip breaker. The actual pattern on the top is similar. There are various styles of chip breaker. You might be able to dig up some old ones out of the shed, which are, have like a little button on the end. But you can see Corloy is pretty good. Pretty consistent, so you can't go too far wrong with those core laws. All right, let's try another dollar fifty insert. I got off of eBay a while back, and these actually work quite well. Uh, I haven't tried them on interrupted cuts, but they, they do actually machine quite nicely. So these are dollar fifty from eBay, and once again, you can see. Even though they look, they look very similar, you can see they're not the same insert. They're not made by the same company, I wouldn't expect. The finish isn't as good to start. Look at that. So these are the eBay dollar fifties. These are all general purpose, which is what most people would use. I mean, some of the industrial grade stuff is only really industrial grade in, in the sense that it's a specialised insert and you're paying extra for that, you know, especially for aluminium or something like that. Of course, they have better quality coatings on them. They're better finished, but I mean, sometimes the, the high price reflects the type of application it's made for. So you can see this isn't as well made as the, as the Banggood one. No way. It's good, but it's not as good. It's a bit tricky doing this. Okay. And overall, nose radius is slight, uh, maybe a fraction bigger. All right, we'll go to another type of insert. Here's another insert from the box that's been sitting in the drawer for a while. I can't even remember where I bought it. I'm pretty sure these are genuine tin coated ones. And you can see the uh, the chip break on that is, well, totally different, isn't it? The whole style is totally different. Quality-wise, yes, it's 
para donde es eso. It's not as consistent there, it's a bit of a difference there, isn't it? Right, well here we are looking at the same, exact same insert from above and you would never pick that there was much between them. It's only when you're getting close you can see that there is quite a, quite a big difference. They all look good, but no, they're not exactly as good as each other and there's definitely a, a difference between the, the inserts. You can see that the the pressing, the way they've been stamped out is moulded is, is significantly different. Pretty interesting. Okay, you can see the uh, the types of designs you've got there. You can see the, the type of chip breaker they've got. And there is another style I'll show you. I just went in the shed and got a used insert because I don't have any more of these new, but this is a, this was a quality insert. This was industrial grade. I forget which brand it was now. But I'll take out the cord boy. I'll bring in this, this one, which is a used insert, but you'll see it's got a, a different sort of a uh, no, it's, it's got a little ball, little round spherical bit in the middle of the nose, which uh, which helps deflect the insert and put a curl on it. You can see I've actually <laughs> reshaped one of these ends uh, in the bottom right corner. Now I'm pretty sure these were uh, could have been Mitsubishi. I can't remember. But anyway, that is an industrial grade insert, most definitely. And you can see that when you compare it to the others, it uh, it doesn't look much different. I mean, a lot of this will come down to the wearing, the wearability, you know, the durability of the insert. As far as machining goes, you might not notice much difference at all, really. It's just that the longevity will be, I expect, much greater. We'll come in real close. I mean, once again, this is a this is a used insert, so you know no. <laughs> we'll come in close to see what it looks like. Right, you can see there's a bit of wear and tear on the on the tip, but you can also see the the quality of the of the actual insert how well it's made and you can see that you know it's all comparative the bang one at the top looks extremely good in this situation when you compare it to the rest it is a very well made insert extremely well made and uh yeah it uh it's very interesting these are yeah you can see the one at the bottom is, well, even the coating is poxy looking on it, look, it's poorly made. That's the unknown brand. But of course, the one on the left is the eBay one, $1.50. And the one at the top is $1.50 Banggood. And the one on the right is, I'm pretty sure, this edition. Now you got to say, that's pretty, that's pretty, it's a pretty good uh, overview on the differences in inserts, TCMT inserts particularly, and yeah, it's just a, a bit more information to consider when you look at these inserts and think about buying them. All right, well, that's it from me. Uh, yeah, see you next time. Cheers.